Hello, CEO teachers. Welcome back to the show. I am so thrilled to be chatting about some of our roots. We're going back to the beginning days of the CEO teacher today, and I can't wait to kind of share with you what life used to look like here and what it looks like now. If you opened up today's episode and you thought to yourself, I'm far beyond the 10 steps to get started selling my teaching resources online, I want you to choose again. I really want you to think, okay, how can I listen to today's show and get a lot of good information, but also see that this is the future of everything. If you can really think about being a beginner again, no matter where you are in your teacher journey, that is where the magic happens. Because so often in life, we think to ourselves, we're past that. We don't need to go back and revisit it. But here's the thing. If you've been listening to our show since the very beginning, five years ago, you once heard us talk about the 10 steps to get started selling your teaching resources online. Back then, that meant a lot different than it means now. Back then, that meant you're going to sell your resources, whatever you're doing in the classroom, your lesson plans on Teachers Pay Teachers. And over the last five years, our company has grown so much so that we realized that selling your lesson plans online is just one of the 10 pathways that our students are making thousands of dollars a month. And yes, some of them are now millionaires themselves. So stick around to today's show. You don't want to miss it. It's the 10 steps to get started selling your teaching resources online, but it might look a little bit different than what you thought before. I'll see you there. What if I told you you couldn't lose, that I could give you a sure bet, a smooth ride to finally loving the art of teaching again? I know it sounds crazy, but it's funny how when something sparks inside of you, when your heart gets lit back up, that you can change your life for the good, not only in the area of teaching, but really in every single thing that you do. I remember this aha moment when I was a teacher and I was sitting there teaching other people's kids and I thought, man, I'm getting paid to raise other people's children while I'm paying someone to raise mine. And that that didn't sit well for me. So I started thinking to myself, how can I make extra money? How can I provide for my family more so that I can do this part time or I can leave if I want to, or I can teach just in a different way. And I started thinking, how can I help other teachers? And if you're thinking to yourself, but you know, I'm just a teacher. I don't really have any other skill set. I want to say thank goodness, because that is our specialty. Teachers supporting other teachers. It's exactly what we do here. I want you to start living the life you deserve. The 10 steps to get started, selling your teaching resources online is your roadmap to help you take massive action and prioritize the most important things in life. I'm going to show you the strategies that I took when I began my journey. And I started living a life, not only of my dreams, but now the life that I live and breathe every single day. I want to give that gift to you. Go to caseymorris.com slash 10 steps to get your brand spanking new workbook. I can't wait to change your life and give you some hope and some dreams again about teaching because this this is what you were meant to do. It just might be a little different than what they told you in college. Again, it's caseymorris.com slash 10 steps. You can type it in your browser like K-A-Y-S-E-M-O-R-R-I-S.com slash one zero steps. Warren Buffett once said, never depend on a single income. Make investments to create a second source. And Forbes magazine said, there is no downside to a side hustle. There are only benefits to building more than one source of income. And Earl Nightingale said, never give up on a dream just because of the time it will take you to accomplish it. The time is going to pass anyway. So friends, let's get real. Your teaching salary, we know it's barely paying the bills, but you still love what you do. You went to school to be a teacher probably, and you're thinking to yourself, is this all there is to life? Or is this it for me? And I want you to know that I've been there too. And I believe that your calling is teaching. I do believe that you were born to be a teacher, but it may look a little bit different than what they told you in school. I have three teaching degrees. My first bachelor's is in early childhood education. My master's is in IT, and I have an ed specialist degree. I don't tell you all that to brag. Actually, there are no bragging points in any of that. I tell you all that because I know how much those degrees cost, and I know how many cents on the dollar I was paid for those degrees, and it wasn't even enough to pay for the student loan payments that I accrued when I got them. But what if, what if my friends, instead of paying to go back to school to get extra degrees, what if you could just live a life you love that you already have created? 
you've done 75 to 80% of the hard work. What I'm going to show you today is just using what you already know and do in the classroom and turning that into an online business. On average, most teachers selling resources online, they make about a thousand dollars extra a month in what is considered passive income. Now, when I say passive income, I mean income that you can make while you sleep. However, I don't believe that passive income is a for everything. It is a, you work hard so you can chill out later, but eventually you have to work hard again. However, passive income is just that. You can set it and forget it. And after the first year in your business, I believe that most teachers can do that. So more than 185,000 teachers have made a sale on Teachers Pay Teachers in the last 12 months. That's a lot of teachers. 71% of teachers have what they are considering a side hustle now. 81% of customers are now researching things primarily online through websites before they buy them. We believe in building your business on land that you own. And that's why Teachers Pay Teachers is just one of the 10 success paths that we have here at the CEO Teacher and inside of our business school. So today I want to share with you the 10 steps for you to get started making the business of your dreams. Although it may not be selling your lesson plans all aboard the CEO teacher train coming by, it could be something totally different from that. Or you could build a business while you're teaching now that turns into something completely different than teaching as some of our students have done as well. So number one on the 10 steps to get started selling your teaching resources online is that you have to decide what kinds of teaching resources that you'll create, what kinds of things that you wanna sell. So let's not make the number one mistake most teachers make when creating resources. And that is, I have taught it in my classroom, so that means I can sell it online. Actually, absolutely not. Just because you've taught it doesn't mean that it belongs to you. So just a few words to the wise is that anything you create at school technically belongs to your school system. We encourage our students to work before hours or after hours, although I know you already work so many, but we want what you create to belong to you. If you're using lesson plans created by very popular companies like Scholastic, then it is not acceptable for you to sell those online. What we are chatting about is how can you sell what you are already doing that you have created in the teaching world in the online space? Step two is the fun part, deciding on a business name and a logo. Now, in case you didn't know, you have a real business now. And this is so much fun when it comes to being a teacher and deciding, oh, I want to create a business. I want to have a logo. I want people to find out about me. And I show you exactly how to do that in our 10 steps to get started workbook. I know you heard it at the beginning of the show, but I just want to reiterate here that everything I'm teaching you today can be found in a very lengthy PDF ebook. If you go to caseymorris.com slash one zero steps, and I'll show you exactly how to create a real business, not one that's just a side thing. I'll give you ideas. I'll give you inspiration. I'll show you what our company brand used to look like 10 years ago and what it looks like now. This is really the fun part. However, it's not where you should get stuck because so often our businesses change and they morph and my business didn't look like it looks now and the branding that you see today until about two years ago. So just remember that this is a marathon, not a sprint, but this is also a very fun part of the journey. Step three is mind mapping your content plan. So as teachers, we're multi-passionate. We have so many things that we love. And what I have to get you to understand is that these ideas in your head, they are easily sold online. You just have to figure out how to spread them out and get them in a logical order so that you can never run out of things to create. One thing our students never have said is that, Casey, I don't know what to create because they have so much content they could create for the next three years. If you're thinking, I don't know what to sell, it's just because you haven't been taught the correct way to take those ideas that are floating around in your brain and to put them out on paper and to write them in a logical way. And that's exactly what I'll show you in that 10 step workbook. Because strategies and systems are what get you to that $1,000 a month mark in the beginning. We've got a proven pathway for success. And so knowing exactly how to take, we call it like throwing spaghetti on a wall. If you were to take all your ideas and throw them on the wall as spaghetti, they would fall down, right? So understanding how to get all of those little pieces of noodles to stick in the correct order 
is so important for the next year, for the next two years, for the next three years. Next is that in order for your ideas to sell, you can't just sell what you're passionate about. And I think people are dishonest when they tell you that you can. Turn your passion into profit, not always the case. You can't always just be passionate, that's not enough. You have to also find the gaps in the marketplace. We call this a beautiful marriage of the two. So understanding what customers need and what you are great at is the future of teachers making millions of dollars online. What's beautiful is that almost every single time I can show you the pathway to get to where you want to go. So the problem isn't necessarily that people don't want to buy what you're passionate about. It's that people don't have enough awareness to understand your passion yet. So we got to take it back a few hundred steps. Sometimes we have to say, okay, this is what you want to do. Ultimately, this is your passion. This is how you want to make a lot of money. And then I'll say, okay, let's show them a way to get from here where they are to where they need to be, which is what you want to do. But we may have to take, like I said, a hundred steps back. So I'm going to help you find what people are searching for utilizing search engine optimization strategies that we teach in our programs. And then using that along the way as a stepping stone, our students graphs on their charts are remarkable, but they always start at the bottom, right? Started from the bottom. Now we're here. And then they start waving themselves up. They start moving themselves up. Some of them have rapid spikes while others have a little bit steady progression, but nonetheless, if you continue to follow the model of what are people missing in the world? Plus what am I passionate about? Because you have to have both because you're not going to have the the charisma, the excitement, the oomph to keep going if you don't love what you're doing, right? Love what you do and you'll never work a day in your life is not a lie. It is the truth. I live my dreams every single day. So how can we take what you love and what you're passionate about, marry that with the gaps in the marketplace so that your graphs for your sales can start going up just like a roller coaster, but we aren't going to let them go all the way down. Next is get clear on your unique teaching magic. I know that if I were to look you in the eyes today and say, tell me a story about your favorite teacher and how they changed your life, you could do it. Mine, David Van Wyck. What the year was, my senior year of school, I was passionate about writing. I loved to sing. I wanted to be Taylor Swift when I grew up. Actually, it was Carrie Underwood back then. But no one ever believed in my writing. No one told me that I was great at it. And my senior year of English, I walked into David Van Wyck's class and he gave us 30 minutes and he said, write. I just want you to write and then I want you to turn it in. Try to get me a five paragraph essay about whatever you want to write about turned it in. The next day he calls me to his desk and that paper had red marks all over it. And my heart was racing. I'm a people pleaser. And I thought, here we go again. Another person telling me I suck at writing, even though I had worked so hard on that. I was so passionate about it. And all of the red marks were glowing remarks. He looked at me and said, Casey, you're a great writer. I wish I could remember what the topic was on at that moment. I don't, but he said, every day, I want you to go outside when you get here. He had a little door that went outside to like a little courtyard area. He said, I want you to go outside and I want you to write for 15 minutes. I don't care what you write about. Don't abuse the privilege, but go out there and write. And I believe that I would not be sitting here today recording this podcast episode. God, I'm going to get emotional. <laughs> it's a teacher in me. Had he not had had that conversation with me because I'm confident in my writing now. I, I write for a living. I have a blog and a podcast. All of those require a skill set of writing, I, my social media captions. And it's crazy to think that that life as an 18 year old, that he gave me the courage to be who I am today. But that is exactly what your unique teaching magic will do for someone else. And so I want you to dig deep here. And I want you to think about your teacher that changed your life. And then I want you to remember why you are created. Because the Bible says that teachers have a gift. It also talks about healers, but I believe that those two are one in the same. I believe you can be a teacher and a healer at the same time. The Bible also says, and I'm just saying, saying this ad-libbing, I'm not sure if I'm quoting this correctly, is to that which much is given, much will be required. And you were given the gift to be a teacher. You were given the gift to help others. And because you were given that, yes, much will be required. You already know this, right? <laughs> You're already teaching your heart out every single day. But what if you could help more people and 
be given everything that you deserve in return as well. Remember, you got to get clear on your unique teaching magic. Inside of our book, I'll show you exactly how to make your you factor you, how to find your World Series moment, how to know what your championship ring looks like so that you can create this magic recipe and it will help you help others. Next up is that you get to choose your own success path. At the beginning of the show, I told you that back in the day, we only had one success path, which was teaching you how to sell your lesson plans. And now we have 10. You can be a blogger, a podcaster. You can be an online coach. You can sell physical goods. You can sell digital goods. You can create your own website. The sky is the limit. There is no limit on fun, on money, on anything that you want in life. When you believe that money is printed every day and it is up for the taking, that you are a teacher, you've been given this gift, you are allowed to dream as big as you want to. When you believe that you can choose any success path that we give you, plus you can choose all of them if you want, you get to be the next CEO teacher. Think about the 10 ways that you can use your magic in the online space. Next, and I chatted briefly about this before, is that you have to build awareness. Remember I said, if you want to be passionate about something, then we're going to get you there, but we have to build awareness to that point. Did you know that five years ago, I introduced this workbook called 10 Steps to Get Started Selling Your Teaching Resources Online. Now, the one you can download today looks significantly different than the one that you could download five years ago. But what I'm telling you is, is that simplicity matters, that using the same strategies to get better are only going to improve what you've done over the long haul. And building awareness around that idea of what we've created is why our business is so successful. Now, we've gone off the deep end. We've tried to change it up and do something different, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So I want to show you how to build awareness around that one beautiful concept, that core content pyramid, we like to call it. Because as teachers, we tend to skip this piece. We believe that we are going to just go all out and then we don't have to mention it again, or we're going to mention it all at once. And then we're going to get scared. We're going to stop in fear that we are bugging people. And we're just going to, we're going to say, it's not, it's not the real thing. Or we're going to think we're going to be like a broken record, like MLM people are and selling things online. And that is not what we do. What we do is empower people and help people and teach people. We're not bamboozling people or selling products and services that won't exist a couple years from now. What we're doing is creating a business that lasts a lifetime. Next is that you got to build your hub. Yeah. In 2024, I will always recommend as of today's date, you to build a platform, a website, someplace for you to get found online. TPT allows you to keep 80% of your sales. Etsy charges you about six and a half percent. Boom Learning takes about 15%. Stripe and PayPal are going to take 2.9. But what if you got to keep all the money that you earned? We're going to start there and then worry about the rest. The ninth step in the 10 steps to get started selling your teaching resources online is launching. This is my favorite part, but just so you know, you have to create hype in order to make sales. That's why things go viral. That's why things sell out. If people weren't excited about them, then they wouldn't be successful. That's why QVC works is because it's got the countdown timer and it's going backwards. So think about that. No matter what you are selling online, you must learn how to launch it, how to build that hype. And I'll show you exactly how to do that as well. And then finally, step 10 is perhaps the most important. You got to give yourself some grace. Seasons in life are just that. We're not going to be the most productive when we have a newborn baby or when we start a new job. Give yourself some grace. This is not a beginning and an end. This is forever. What we teach you, what you get to become as a CEO teacher, I'm not going anywhere. This is my life. And so let's let this be your life too. My nutrition coach told me the other day, I was complaining when I was doing 75 hard back in March earlier this year. And she said, Casey, one day this will not be something you have to do. It'll just be something that you do. And I can't tell you how many times I've heard that saying in my head. And so she was so right. I don't ever get up in the mornings now and go, I have to go to the gym. I have to eat good. It's just what I do. I feel the best I've felt in my entire life. Sign me up. Let's do it. And so I want you to give yourself some grace. Right now, this may feel like something you have to do. It's just added to the plate of all the other responsibilities that you have as a teacher. But just remember that one day it'll just be something that you do.
Thanks so much for listening to today's show. Friends, remember your best is yet to come. And if you're interested in what I've gone over on today's show in a lot more detail and to get on our wait list for when we open the doors to the CEO teacher membership in 2024, go to kcmorris.com slash one zero steps. That's K-A-Y-S-E-M-O-R-R-I-S.com slash one zero S-T-E-P-S. And I'll see you in next week's show. Bye.